What's up, man? Welcome to another episode of the Adrenaline Show. All right, check this out. I got something I got to talk about. I did make one video talking about some other stuff, but um, I got to do this one right here. I just got to. All right, we're going to talk about it this. Man, listen. <clears throat> Even though... Even though a lot of stuff in the streets get glorified and it's one thing that is common, like it's normal, like it's a part of, it's a part of the, um, it's basically a part of the culture now to brag and just let everybody know like what you got going on or what you done did in the streets. Like, the main thing in music, we rap about bodies. Like everybody rap about bodies and everybody rap about how much dope they sell. And But at the same time, I don't wanna talk about the dope part. Like that's, that ain't really no, that ain't really no big issue with us, but it ain't, but my whole point of saying this, like, if ain't nobody tell you, let me be the one to tell you, that what you do in the streets, like, well, anyway, the streets, I'm gonna keep saying this, bro. The streets, the streets is the underworld. It's supposed to be the underworld, like, the crime, like, the criminal world, it's supposed to be the underworld. Like, you ain't supposed to know how to just straight find certain people with certain things in the street. You ain't supposed to be able to just like if you if you watch movies if you watch certain movies some movies you always got to know a guy that know a guy that know a guy you always got to be like it ain't it ain't no easy access like especially movies from i guess like the 70s or movies that came out the 80s the 90s early 2000s you got to be in a club you see what i'm saying like you got to be able to you gotta be able to. You gotta be able to see. It's just certain things that come with it. You gotta. You can't just be able to walk up on a dude that everybody knows that kill people. You can't just be able to walk up on a dude that everybody know got this <clears throat> got this particular drug operation. You shouldn't be able to do that. So what I'm saying is everything supposed to be in secret. You know, you yeah, you got certain people that you can always, you know, like you you got certain people that's on the out on the on the front on the front line that you can go walk up on and talk to, but it ain't really. It is. It, it seems that easy, but it still ain't even that easy, cause they ain't even supposed to be talking to you all kind of way. So, what I'm saying again is, it's supposed to be like, it really supposed to be like a secret society supposed to be a, supposed to be like you don't supposed to be able to you don't supposed to be able to know like in your mind like just straight go to the guy so the thing about what's going on in the in, in in as far as everybody bragging about you about the murders like i understand that's a thing now but ain't nobody supposed to know you kill nobody ain't nobody supposed to know you kill nobody when it comes down to killing, as far as in the street, only person who's supposed to know you did that between is you, the dead man, and God. That's the only person supposed to know about that. I remember one time, I remember one time I've been doing time, I'm gonna lock up. And this person I've been, I've been locked up with he went home. He went home and he came back. He went home and he came back. And the first thing he said to me, he said, come here. I'm going to tell you something. Now, he younger than me. At the, yeah, he younger than me. So, but he came to me. And he, he came to me and he whispered, in my, he whispered to me. He said, man. He said, yeah, man. He said I had, to, I had to. He said I had to smoke one. He 
He said, yeah, man, I had to smoke one when I been out there. And you know what I tell him? I look around, and it's just with me and him and a few other people are like, like out in this area, but don't, they, ain't, they ain't hear what he told me. And, that's, and I told him straight up, I said, hey, don't you tell nobody that shit ever again. I said, don't even tell yourself. I said, don't you ever tell nobody that again. I said, don't even tell me that again. He's like, all right, I got you. And like, I, I hope, I hope, well, evidently he took my advice. I don't know whether he's even telling the truth. I don't know whether he's even lying, but that been the first thing he wanted me to know. Even though I'm looking at him like, damn, you come back in here. Just that quick, like you back in here. That's what I'm thinking about. But what he wanted to, wanted me to know is, yeah, man, you know, I had to kill me one. I ain't asked him no details and none of that shit. And I know he probably, I probably could have get him to tell me everything if I'd been one of those type of dudes. But I don't want to hear about that shit. He scared me just even telling me. You don't post, you don't post to do that. Nobody don't post to know that. You know how the scene go, motherfucker supposed to fuck around and find out. That's how that shit supposed to go. But I see that shit popular now that everybody want everybody to know what they done did in the street. Like, yeah. You know, I understand putting that shit in music, but you supposed to be like, it, it, it supposed to be like, you putting that shit in music supposed to make that shit sound like entertainment. But make it sound like how everybody else shit sound. The niggas who ain't doing the shit but say they doing it. Make sure your shit goes right along with how they put their shit out there. You know, not saying like being so specific about it. Because what I come to learn now, like, and that's even like, even with that, even with selling dope, like, I come to learn now being that I don't fuck around in the street. I don't fuck around in the street no more. And the fact that I learn how to move, I mean, the fact that when I go back, the fact that I go back in the hood and shit, and I'm able to move, I know the difference now because from coming from a person, like every time you pop outside, the police want to stop you. They jumping out on you. Like they always doing like, you can't fucking... You can't get from one, you can't get from A to B without them stopping you, searching you, this and that shit going on. I used to not mind that shit at some point, but you know, like I used to not mind that shit thinking that shit just come with it, but after a while of that shit not happening to me and I be able to move around and just like I be moving through and I see certain, I see certain, um, I see certain police officers and that not even see certain police, but I see police officers and I know how it feel for them not to even know who the hell I am. Cause I be in my, I don't be in my neighbor, my old neighborhood like that. So they don't know who the hell I am and I'm just moving through and that shit feels so good for these people not to know who the fuck I am. They don't got a clue. All of the shit I done did and, and, and from how it used to be, cause it, for me, it always been up your shirt. Let me see if you got a gun on you. That's what it always was. Up your shirt. Let me see if you got a gun on you. Nothing else. They won't check my pocket. They won't do none of that. Just up your shirt. And so, and as I, and as I'm, as I'm around there, I like, damn. You know, they got, and they got the new, and they got the, the new cops, like the new, you know, like the new generation of the, of the jump out boys or whatever. And it's like, damn, they don't got no clue. Like, they don't know who the fuck I am. And I like, that's how that shit supposed to be. Like, you, like, you supposed to be able to move, like, and, I, and I'd be like, man, I used to have shit on me and be like, like, you know, talking about, well, I basically have all type of stuff on me. And used to be trying to move and navigate, like praying and hoping, man, I hope these motherfuckers don't stop me. Because at some point in time, I used to have shit on me and it'd be like, 
just seeing me will get me caught. I mean, just seeing just seeing me and getting jumped out on just being hot, man. Just being hot. Basically what I'm saying, being hot. Like that shit is not cool, man. And that ain't how you wanna be. That ain't how you wanna be if you wanna be if you wanna be, you know, I hate to say use the word, but you wanna be successful in the street. <laughs> If you want, you know, if you want to make it, you want, if you want to make it to the next summer, you want to make it to the next Christmas without getting your shit put on freeze because they done, you know, they done caught up with you. So I had to learn, I had to, I had to learn like exactly what that is through, through the difference in the times when it, when it did happen and the times that so many, that so many times that it did happen and so many times that it didn't happen. I walked in my old neighborhood and I'm like, man, I wish I could have. I wish I was like this back then. I wish they ain't never knew about me. And that's a powerful feeling. That's a powerful feeling for these people that got no idea because of the shit that the, the type of like, like the shit that I know that like, that I'm down to do. <laughs> like the shit that I mean, like, yeah, like the shit that I know that I'm, I'm, I'm with. Like these people don't got no clue. They are, they messing with these dudes, messing with these dudes and I'm saying to myself, <laughs> you know, like it feel good, man. It just feel good and I'm here to say, man, that shit's supposed to be like that. That's how it's supposed to be. Ain't nobody supposed to know what the f you got going on. Especially them people. Like even if you traveling, only people who used to, only people who should know what you got going on is the people that got it going on with you. Them the only ones should know. Ain't nobody supposed to be able to know, hey, that's T money right there with all the bricks. That's T, T that's that's T money right there with all the weed. He right there. You gonna see him. You gonna win him. Just wait for the red bands to pull up. Just wait for the red bands with the white rag to pull up. That's some right there. That shit ain't supposed to be like that, man. And 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 a lot of us make that mistake because I don't think nobody ever thought about it the way I thought about it. That's why I like that show Power. And I understand how Ghost's character was portrayed and how important that was. And then when I watched that show, I mean like, I know what they talking about, ghosts. I know what that shit mean. Screech, man, that shit supposed to be a secret society. And I and I ain't I ain't and I ain't promoting that shit, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm just talking about it. If you are in that shit, everything you do supposed to be a secret. Ain't nobody supposed to know. I don't care who you think don't mind or I don't think who you who you I don't care who you think don't got a problem with what you what you doing or what you saying or how you moving. Ain't nobody supposed to know that shit. You see them white folks they got secret society. You don't know who is who. You don't know who is who. You gonna talk about Illuminati. Y'all can see these rappers. Y'all gonna see these rappers and y'all talking about Illuminati this, Illuminati that, but y'all don't know who the hell them people is. None of them. Talking about Masons. Yeah, you know Mason by the way they read their ring, but still, you don't know what the hell a Mason is. You don't know what them people got going on. And that's how the streets supposed to be. Cause what we ain't know now, like that shit damn near, that shit damn near impossible to really get away with anything. Cause they got this facial recognition shit coming, but that shit already in process. Cause we using that shit. They just ain't using that. Sh they just ain't using that shit to catch criminals and motherfuckers on the street, like how they could if they want to. But the shit already there. They got these AI fucking robots, AI fucking dogs, and in a minute, man, motherfuckers gonna be 
Motherfuckers gonna be on, on your motherfucking ass. Them shit's gonna be on the street. And motherfucker, you think you gonna outrun a fucking robot? Hell fucking no. So I go back to saying, bro, if you got that shit going on, you better start moving like a motherfucking ghost. Cause at the same time, as far as this music shit go, it's about time to hang up there. Oh, I got all these bodies and shit. Cause guess what? They sending your ass straight to hell when they finally catch you for that one fucking body. Anytime they feel like you already got away with some shit, when they catch your ass for that. And another thing, you ain't helping, it ain't helping you when you do catch a kiss. You can't put your, you can't present yourself to no jury or no fucking judge to say you deserve a bond or you ain't did the crime. You want to go in that courtroom and look as clean cut as possible. You want to convince these people like, man, I don't sell that shit. Man, I don't do none of that. You want to convince these people they definitely got the wrong man. That's why you don't want your business out there. Because you don't want nothing to add. You don't want nothing to add to the, to the suspicion. You want to make yourself look as innocent as possible. Because once they got you, man, it's hard. It's hard to unpaint that picture. Because them people know what they're doing. Them people go to school for that. You don't go to school. You ain't going to school for what you do in the street. So I'm telling you now, the streets and what goes on in the streets is supposed to be a secret. Even you being a part of it is supposed to be a secret. Cause I'm gonna tell you, it don't matter what you do in the street. You cannot tell nobody. Like your, like for example, your kids can't brag on none of the shit you done did in the street. You can be, man. You can be, you can be the a king killer, king killer drug dealer in the street. But when your kids in school and they and everybody asking and and everybody have to get up and share what their parents do for a living. Man, they can't get up there and see what the hell you do. Because they don't even know what you do. You can't brag on that shit. That shit ain't nothing to brag about. That shit only supposed to be between you, the person, and God. Ain't nobody supposed to know that shit. Because you can't, you don't, you like, it's, you don't really don't get no credit for that. It ain't, that's why people are thinking that it's, it's so much of something to be a killer. Bro, it ain't, it ain't nothing. If you, man, housewives, we see that shit all the time. Housewives, hire hit man, housewives, them poisoning husband, killing plenty of women in prison for murder. Plenty of them. Some of them, they didn't, they, they, they was more brutal with the killing than, than niggas in the street. So it don't make you macho or man or don't make you a giant or a god because you kill. So bragging about that shit don't really mean nothing. You can catch 20. You can catch 25 bodies. And guess what? Somebody you ain't never killed. Nobody can take your ass off the map. Then the game over. All your trophies and your awards, all your, everything come down. Your, your, you, yeah. And you don't get no military burial for what you do in the street. And that's that. Ooh.